Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to do a tutorial and demonstration of Krill Synth from Guido Scogna Melio. It's a fantastic new uh, virtual analog poly synth. It's really warm, which is really nice. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So it's a, a virtual analog synth. As you can see, we are running it inside the AUM. So um, you can run it as an AUV3, but it also can run in standalone version and it has 16 nodes polyphony. As you can see, the interface is quite simple, but that is actually, in a way, the one of the great strengths of the synth itself. And it's very good particularly if you are starting out with synth inside iOS because uh, it's really straightforward. What you see on the screen is what you get. As you turn it on, um, as i just done now, in, that is what you see. You are on patch number 00. You have 64 patches, in which you can also access uh, them uh, directly from here, from the folders here, as you normally would do for other applications inside AUM. Okay, but you can also go up and down with these two buttons here on the right hand side and also right the preset. So let me start saying that it has two oscillators. You see oscillator number one and oscillator number two. You have an LFO and um, some main settings, filters, the two envelopes for filter and amplitude and mixer and then some effects in form of delay. So let me start uh, um, here from the mixer. So first of all, this is what it sounds as the default uh, preset settings. Okay, so you can enable, of course, chorus. As you can see, you have selection here for a volume for one oscillator or for the second one, which of course you can turn each one off. In this case, it's only oscillator number one, but of course, double click, you can reset the default. This is oscillator number two. And of course, as you can see here on the left hand side, the oscillator number one had a waveform of so, and oscillator number two had a waveform of square. And you also have uh, a noise as well generator. Okay, let's focus on oscillator number one for now. And let's remove the chorus as well. You can apply a delay, which you can set it to stereo, of course. You set the level here. Then the time. And then the length for the feedback. Really nice indeed. Okay, so let's turn um, to default settings. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, you have a uh, two oscillator. So I start with only oscillator number one, waveform. You can have it so, square. And then you can also have a triangle as well. You can set the frequency. And of course, if you have selected square, you can change the pulse width. Be careful on the boundaries, are you maximum or, or lowest level? You also have an option to sync oscillator number one to oscillator number two, which is here, which is really nice. And this works also if oscillator number two has level down to zero. As in this case, I'm changing the frequency of oscillator number two. Of course, the same apply for oscillator number two. So let's um, set the volume so you can hear oscillator number two. You have three uh, waveforms. So square triangle. If you have square enabled, you can set also the pulse uh, wave modulation. Mm -hmm. 
and you can also do some tuning adjustment as well which is really nice down to the left you have uh, on the main section the selection to play mono instead of polyphonic and when you have mono of course you can decide to have your glide or portamento and therefore you can decide the, uh, the length of the glide And you can also have, um, um, you can change the setting for the bend um, for your pitch control, so uh, how much you want to bend the pitch. So let's reset this to polyphonic. You have also an LFO, which uh, by default uh, act on the amplitude, and um, but it's also used for the filter as well. You set the rate, of course, the in each, uh, the amount and then of course you can change the waveform from the triangle so ramp square or random as well okay really nice now let's focus on the filter the section in the middle so you have a cut off a resonance The nice thing of resonance in uh, these uh, synth is that uh, you don't have those uh, acute uh, sounds when the resonance is towards max. Now let me also set uh, the velocity range to um, maximus like so like 127 and let's set the center velocity to something around 64 like so okay perfect and um if I, click, if I click at the very top and as i click uh, on the lower part of the keyboard or the keys of course i decrease the intensity which is established by these uh, uh, slider here for velocity on the amplitude but if I was also to set this to a minimum so it has the same velocity it will also act on the envelope amount for the filter now let me set uh, uh, the amount like so perhaps uh, the sustain on the ADSR to a minimum here increase the decay as well so let's try so you can hear the difference you can also enable key track for the uh, filter so if i have key track as i change the key track you can hear the difference and you can also set the lfo on the filter as well Of course, you need to actually check the settings on the filter envelope. If I set the sustain to come down to zero, so the filter will go up to the maximum, then it will come down to zero. And it also is depending on the envelope that you have selected for the amplitude down here. Okay, so you have your typical ADSR and also the setting for the velocity, in which helps you, of course, to um, set the how the amplitude envelope will respond based on the velocity that you decide to uh, to play on keys. And here you have also a selection for uh, how the pitch is controlled for the filter envelope. So let me show you. <laughs> Let me remove sync. Which also can go negative. This is for oscillator number one, so you have to have oscillator number one uh, on. 
let me show you now positive <laughs> Let me set the oscillator to number down to zero. Of course, some magic happens when you actually have the sync on between the two oscillators and you have them both active and you can play with the oscillator uh, one pitch here on the filter envelope. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's a really nice warm synth, um, virtual analog, really nice 16 notes polyphony, as I mentioned at the beginning, with 64 presets, which you can change and play around to your taste. <laughs> Really nice. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and demonstration. And as always, see you next time. Bye.